Hey guys, welcome back to the family channel and today we are doing something different, something um, more food related for you guys and we are at Siam Square Mukata and we are here to pretty much try out everything or almost everything as much as we can eat today. So we got some help from Jasmine and Burke who happen to be Debbie's uh, Mukata pals. Yes, I'm a big fan of Mukata. I'm very excited with all the food laid out in front of me. I cannot wait to eat. What are your favourite ingredients? Just looking at Oh these. my god, I, I can't wait to try the cheese. You know, like when you get like the melted cheese and then you get to dip every mm. ingredient. Cheese tofu also. Oh, and I really like this like abalone thing also, like the mock abalone. Mm. Hold on. What's I your... do not see cheese tofu. Oh, maybe they don't have cheese tofu. I'm sure they do. Oh, they... I'm sure they do. They, they have, they have. You see, they're going to get it for us already. That's how good they are. And that is why we are here at Siam Square Mukata. So tell me, what is Mukata about? Okay, according to my knowledge, uh, Thai uh, Mukata is like steamboat and it is like a barbecue as well. So it's like a grill and a steamboat which is the best. And the best part about the Mukata is that all the essence from like the grilled food, right, will drip into the soup. So the soup will taste amazing. And I also always try to avoid rice during Mukata so I can like eat all the liao. For me, I need the rice. My rice is more of like a bedding for my food. Before we begin, I actually need to mention that at Siam Square Mukata, they have over 73 different varieties of food here. This includes sliced pork, pork belly, chicken, sausages, prawns, Clams, beef, seafood, meatballs, Japanese wow, crab wow. meat, cheese tofu, rapid, rapid. cabbage, broccoli, golden, golden mushroom, mushroom, seaweed, vermicelli. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what is that? What, okay, yeah, Thai milk tea, liver, which is like our favorite thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Cheese dip, cheese corn, minced pork, smoked duck, cheese bacon roll, wow, wow. abalone, prawn paste, and Thai milk tea. Uh, this goes on. Okay, how do we even begin this? Okay, so usually we'll pour the soup first. And this soup is like freshly made in the kitchen every day. So we pick the chicken soup. So we're just gonna... Oh! <laughs> so I'm just gonna carefully pour the soup in. Okay, wow, you can hear the sizzling sound. The most important ingredient to mukata is the pork lard. It's actually going to uh, coat this surface so that the food doesn't stick and it also gives it a very nice flavour. I love going to Mukata with my friends that cook so I can just sit there and eat. But I guess among all my friends here, it looks like I'm the one that's going to cook. Yeah. That's so. right. And this is a known fact that when we go for a hot pot or steamboat or Mukata, Debbie is the one who cooks. Before we, we get carried away, we actually have to put in the cheese. Right. Yay! So the sliced cheese that you're seeing here right now is going to melt. Can you put it in the middle so that I can reach it? As well? No. <laughs> we also have sauces, right? Yes. Oh okay, but before that, can we can we cook some food? Okay, so what should we put in? There's so many ingredients, I don't even know where to start. I think we can start cooking um, like the soup stuff first. Okay. So I'm going to throw in the enoki mushroom. Oh, okay. I also like to add like the prawn right into the soup so that it gets all the flavour. Because you know like the prawn head is actually like full of flavours. Right now, we're putting stuff into the soup. Can we put some stuff to the... Um, what do you call it? The, the, the grill. grill. The grill. Alright. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put the cheese tofu in. Mukata hex. You add all like the yummy seafood, right? Into the soup. So the flavour will be like... Mm. Okay, shall we grill something? Yes. I'm so hungry. Alright. It's like okay. what? 4... 5 p.m. Okay, and I haven't eaten chicken. the whole day. So we're gonna add some chicken on the grill and this is like the original chicken. So I'm oh. gonna be sharing the pan with some teriyaki chicken. Just listen to that sound, that sizzling. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so far it looks pretty uh, neat. They're doing wow. a great job, good job. And if you don't cook it well, I guess you'll find out the next day. <laughs> At <laughs> least your friends will find out with yes. you. You're yeah. not alone. So Tehao loves crab meat. Yeah. And he likes luncheon meat. Yes. Cheese tofu. Cheese. Like cheese all tofu. the artificial food. <laughs> the, no, the simple food. Fuck. The cheese hasn't melted yet. Yeah. Oh, oh, it has no, at the bottom. Uh, so the bottom is like a different type of cheese and the top is like mozzarella. I'm so hungry. I'll eat whatever I can. Even if it's just the cheese. Okay, so are we gonna flip the chicken now? Okay, maybe another like one minute. Be patient. I love how when we take one thing, the team actually replaces it with more food. And then right, when we eat mukata, we always have like a community plate. So people like Jian Hao can just take from the cooked food section. Right? Yes. That is exactly what I do. I don't know. I hope you guys have eaten or are eating while watching this video. Otherwise, you would be really, really hungry. For like cheese tofu and like fish balls. So as long as it floats, right? You know you're done. 
Okay, it, it's floating. Let me peel the prawns for you, okay? Aww. You know how to tell when a prawn is fresh? I know, I know, I know. Uh, the, the shell comes off yes. really well. The shell actually comes off like really easily and that's when you know the prawns are really fresh. I think I can eat the sausage. Look at him, look at him. And I am going to dip it in the sauce which has um, sort of melted. Uh, it melted so much my, my, my sausage, sausage ran in. <laughs> sinked in. Okay. So I'm going to try the medium spicy sauce. There, uh, it looks like there's chili, coriander, maybe some lime. garlic, yeah, maybe lime. Mm. Oh, this sauce would go really well with like your seafood. I'm really enjoying this, you know why? Why? Usually when I'm... Because you're sitting beside three pretty girls eating, duh. Thank you very much. Aside from that... Aircon. Yes. Usually I would be sweating and like dying in the heat. But we're eating in like AC yeah. and it's really well conditioned. And before this, this, there was nice music. But obviously we asked them to turn off the music so that we can give you a food show that um, no one has no really one asked for, <laughs> but here okay, we are. Okay, I asked for it, I okay, asked for okay. it. Okay, we'll, we'll do more of this. Actually, leave it down in the comments if you guys want us to do more food shows. And I like that this place, right, the mukata comes with like the little exhaust thing in front of your table. Because usually when you eat these kind of steamboat things, the one thing that you hate is you feel like you smell after the meal. But I don't feel like it's very congested in here. I feel like I don't have, I don't know if I should say this, but I feel like I don't have to shower. <laughs> oh my god, Jasmine. I think they like serve like beer here. They and do, stuff. they have nice beer. They have nice beer. Soju. There is soju. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be my new favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually really like aesthetics of this place. Yeah. That's why all the neon oh, so lights. Pretty. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's a really rare sight to see oysters and mukata. Is and it? these oysters look very plump and fresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what we need to do, um, are we going to grill it? Yeah, we're going to put it in a soup first. Okay. And then um, we can grill it after. Okay, we're running out of meat. We're running out of meat. Okay, let's go out meat. We forgot to cook. We forgot to cook. Oh my god, I don't know why, but the egg is so cute. It's like white in colour. Do you know that you can not actually squeeze and crack an egg in your palm? That's not true. It's so hard. You can't. You can't. You just can't. Okay, Rainer, come away. Come on, Rainer. Come on. But you have the to do it. The alpha male. You have to do it the right way, like this. Yeah. While they are doing that, I will, you know, proceed to cook. Look, come on, come on, Rainer. Harder, harder. <laughs> you can't, right? Anyway, talking about eggs, right? We like to put in a raw egg with our liver. Yes. I think it makes it like more silky. I don't know, maybe it's just us. So yeah, before I met Jian Hao, right, I actually don't eat like organs or like, I, I just like, you know, I, I was a very picky eater. Uh -huh. But now I eat everything. That's good, what? You're expanding your, what do you call that? Palette. Stomach? Oh. oh okay. <laughs> Another thing I like to do, right, is to not eat rice and eat the tang hun. Because the tang hun, right, can you call it the proper name? Okay, the verma, verma, vermicelli? Vermicelli. Vermicelli. Okay, this thing. Okay, let's just call it Tang Hun. I'm teaching you guys a new word if you don't know. Tang Hun. <laughs> Not everyone here is from Singapore. It's fine, that's why I'm teaching them a new word. We have some from the States, some from yeah, India. Yeah, so I'm going to teach you that Vermicelli. Of all things you want to teach them, you teach them Tang Hun. <laughs> tang Hun, okay. Okay, who wants Tang Hun? Raise your hand. And say me. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Tang Hun. No! I'm sorry, I'm not team tanghun, I'm team rice. I'm team carbs, honestly. I'm team burn my freaking tongue. <laughs> yeah, I think one thing that you guys need to take note is because it's like boiling, you guys should like maybe like blow your spoon. Okay. Jackie wants to blow more than her spoon. Okay, now this is a family channel. Cut. <laughs> I swear, Kevin's gonna put that in. I'm gonna steal from your community more. <laughs> That's his more. <laughs> That's not a community bow, that's my bow, Jess. I'm so happy. This is like one of my favourite episodes of Jabby Family, guys. So guys, you know what to do. Just leave a comment down below. Oh my god, so then as the episode progresses, I just get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter. No, no, no. Okay. After having our food show, yeah. maybe we'll have a fitness channel, show, right? exercise channel. Oh my god, I actually started running recently. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah, I saw. You should know it. Oh wow, I see this turn into a Q&A really quick. Yeah. 
No, it's just I became single recently, oh. so you know I'm all about that. Mm, taking care of yourself. Okay, so all the uh, eligible bachelorettes. <laughs> I'll leave a comment down in the comment section. <laughs> leave, but if you guys um, want to date Jess, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, leave it down below. Your name, your age, and uh, where you stay, and your handphone number, and then just me will see if she wants to call you. Yeah, Interview. we'll we'll have a Google Doc. Oh my God, you should make a dating show. Oh, oh for Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll do it for you. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I'll and go out with people. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, we have duck. Yes, yeah, smoke duck. Can we try the duck? Yeah. Okay, can we get more soup, Jazzy? Yes. I am the soup chef. Oh my god, I don't know what about this grill, right? But it's amazing. The food is like not really sticking and there's you know usually when you eat mukata, yeah, it doesn't get yeah. black. Like the, the grill, whole grill turns like super black. We were just told that the dinner crowd is coming soon. It's okay, yeah. we'll eat until the breakfast crowd comes in. <laughs> I'm scared. Actually, I, I always come to Siam Square Mukata, but not this outlet because it's not the nearest to my house. Mm -hmm. But I always go to the one in uh, Pasir Ris okay. at Ihak. Okay. Yeah, and I introduce my parents to it. And my parents freaking love it. Uh -huh. So yeah, Siam Square Mukata, I, I love you. <laughs> it's really one of the best mukatas I've ever had, honestly. I'm not, I'm not even saying this just because we're here eating, but I, like, I genuinely mean it. The variety, the freshness of the food, the soup, the environment, and the sauces, all like five stars. And honestly, if this wasn't true, Debbie wouldn't say it because she's, as you can see, very passionate. How is it that you haven't done a food show yet? I'll become overweight. Okay, a food show and a fitness show, huh? Jabby food, jabby fitness. So, like, I like this like mock abalone pieces, right? Uh. You you can't actually cook it for too long. If not, it gets too chewy. So, like, put it in for maybe like ten seconds or like five seconds. Like one, two, three, four, five, and you're done. You wanna try? Uh, uh you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> so far, which has been your favorite? Everything. Oh, oysters and liver. The oysters and liver. I think the liver was pretty good. Shall we catch up with Buck? How's you, Buck? Back in Singapore for a while now. Not too bad. I've been busy like with my clinic renovation. So what's the most fun part about being a dentist? Your favorite part? Oh my god, what's your favorite dental procedure? Extraction. Come on, it sounds fun. Do it. Like... <laughs> Debbie should never be a dentist. <laughs> Don't <Too> brushing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me ask you. If someone has no more teeth anymore, right? Yeah. Do they still have to go to the dentist? If they make dentures, then maybe. But if not. That's not really a point, right? I gotta say my favourite thing so far is just the meat. The meat has been really good. These fish slices are very chunky pieces. The salmon looks so good. Look at it. Look at this. Look at the smoke coming out of it. Oh, oh what's that? Shishamo? But well, they really have everything here, dude. So over here we have some spicy chicken. It looks really spicy, so I'm gonna focus it over there. So if you guys don't already know, right? Uh, Siam Square Mutkata actually has like 14 outlets all across Singapore. 14? That's a lot. 14 yeah. outlets all across Singapore. So you can like easily find one that's really near to you. Mm -hmm. And they usually open until really late at night. Until like I think 6 a.m. Wow. So this applies to outlets like Golden Mile Complex, Pasir Ris, Woodlands and even Pongo. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm really lucky to have one in the east and then... 6 a.m. Yeah, 6 a.m. So you never go hungry at night again. <laughs> There's always something for you and like you can always call your friends down and you know, it's super easy to find food to eat at night. Siam Square Mukatas offers all fresh ingredients so you know that whatever you're eating is like really good stuff. Yes, I vouch. So if you also want to try and eat everything like us from their extensive menu, right, you can actually offer to eat like a buffet or their a la carte. Which oh, is buffet, buffet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can do that if you want to. <laughs> These two options are available when you dine in. But if you want to have it in the comfort of your home, you can also do that because they have like set menus available for delivery. Wow. That's insane. How are they going to deliver this? But like if you order above $100, mm -hmm. the delivery is free. Oh Wait, does it come with the grill? Yeah, I think it oh does. God, it does. It, it comes does. with the grill. Wow. Crazy, right? So if you want to find out more, you can actually log on to their website www.siamsquaremukata.com.sg to find out more or you can actually search up the information that we have left on the description box down below. I feel like I've reached the soup part of the meal. You have a newfound love for Mukata? Yeah. The colour of the soup is like much richer and more intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Sometimes you want to eat something soupy, but at the same time you want to eat something grilled. It's like the best, best of, of both worlds. worlds. Yeah. What the heck? So, does someone want to try the spicy chicken? Yes. You yeah. try. But likes chicken. Okay, go try it. Oh my god, so nice. The pork paste, right? Look like the bar chow. Like the minced pork from the... Oh my the, god, imagine the flavour uh, of the soup. I feel like... This is not just a food show, it's also a language show. Yeah. Mm. Words that you learned today, tang hun, ba chow. Alright guys, so I think... Let's end the video here. It's a bit long, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoy eating with us because I think we really enjoyed this. Debbie herself, uh, as you can see, very passionate eater. So do leave a comment down below if you guys want a food show from us or just us trying out more food. Debbie will be very happy. And uh, Next for sure, for sure. <laughs> Head over to your nearest Siam Square Mukata to try it for yourself. It's really yummy, I promise you. Won't you won't regret it. Yeah. Or you can order delivery. It's yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. that order you can delivery. order delivery for this. Very fresh, very flavorful, nice ambience. Come here with your friends, your family, drink some alcohol, have fun. It's a great way to spend your weekend, I feel. Yeah. Thanks for watching and thanks for eating with us and watching us eat. Um, I hope we didn't make you too hungry or at least you're eating with us. Thanks for watching uh, our family channel. Subscribe, watch our latest video and we'll see you next time. Bye!